What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today we got this 2016 Dodge Charger. We're gonna replace a the thermostat. We have a code for a thermostat rationally. Uh, P0128, that's the code. So it's very common for these Dodges. If you have a Jeep, um, you're gonna get that code. Simply drain the antifreeze, replace the thermostat. We're gonna do that job on this car completely. This car did have a misfire. I am gonna show you um, I did do a video on it, so when I reset, you will see those codes, and later on, I will put my scan tool on it. We do need to reset. The check engine light came on. Uh, we're gonna reset both of those codes. So if you have a cylinder three misfire, cylinder three is on the passenger side, right in the center. So it's cylinder one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, in that order. Anyways, we're gonna get down here. We're gonna remove this uh, duct pipe here. We're gonna take this off, we're gonna take off this cover, we're gonna remove this so we have better access. Thermostat is located right up here, right under this, below this. And right from down there, we are we should be able to drain the antifreeze. As you can see, there's a small little pipe, uh, drain pipe there. Let me take my light down there. There's a drainer and it has a pipe on it. And just put a bucket down below, pull out all the antifreeze, and we're gonna continue this job in a moment. So let's start off by removing this clamp here not completely just turn about four to five times so it's loose enough but let's pop open this cover it has grommet so it just comes right off you need to pull it straight up that comes right off ah come on cover stand to the side so uh, I'm not sure if this okay there's nothing on here um, we're gonna come across here Put on our light. We also gonna remove this clamp. When I did misfire fix, I'm gonna show you uh, the coil that I changed, cylinder number three. And if you have code P0303, that's cylinder number three. Anyways, we're gonna take off this little guy, just push on the tap. Okay. Push down on the connector and it should release this guy. Um, I hate it. I hate this little, it's tiny. It's really tiny. There you go. Comes right off. If you don't plug that back in, you're going to have a code for that as well. So what we're going to do next is we do need to lift it right here because this is a grommet right here. So just grab it and lift it up and after that, uh, let's lose a little bit more. It's a little sticky. Let's let it come off. So this is how you're going to remove this little guy. Even if you don't want to remove this side, you should be able to work just like that. Thermostat is right there. But let's make it a little bit more spacious for us. And there you go. This guy comes right off. We let it sit up there. So we are gonna go up. Before you remove this guy, there's two bolts. One here and there's one right under here. Number 10 millimeter. There's only two bolts for this guy. The thermostat should come right off. And you do have a bleeder valve right here. So you do need to take air out of the system. If you do not take out that air, your car is gonna overheat. So make sure you open that valve. It's very simple. Um, you could do it a few times, okay? First, um, when you're filling up this, open this up, so, and uh, you're gonna start seeing hissing air coming out of zzz as you fill up the bucket, and uh, I will show you that. And then uh, once it starts to flow here solid, close it up, and then let the car run, do it again. I would do it uh, a few times before you end it. Anyways, let's open up the drainer down there. So all we're gonna do is I'm gonna go down there, I'm gonna turn counterclockwise and pull outward a little bit, just like that. You're not going to see that part, but that's all you're going to do because it's hard to reach, but make sure you have a bucket down below. Okay, guys. Uh, so, the drainer is jammed. I don't want to break it. I have an issue. Um, I don't like to break things. Um, so, what I did was I put a funnel here. There's a hole right in the bottom. Bucket right below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a small little glimpse if you want to do it this way. And then I have to put the camera away. Okay, as you can see, everything's gonna drip in there and go down into my bucket. There's a hole right in the frame down below and it goes straight down. Uh, go slow, go easy, and I'm gonna do that. You're not gonna see that, but drain it completely. 
Here's a little glimpse for you guys. All the antifreeze is going down. Slowly, okay, take your time. Okay, there we have it. So I'm gonna give it a good 20 minutes. I'm gonna let, let anything that wants to come out of that thermostat because there's still fluid inside that. My antifreeze is in there, but let's let it sit there. Remember, there's gonna be still liquid in here. So all you wanna do is get a 10 millimeter. I like to open up the top one first and loosen up the little one a little bit. Okay, you don't wanna go crazy because uh, a lot of the antifreeze will shoot out. So slowly open it a tiny bit and then break the housing loose a bit. So let's open up the bottom one a little bit also. Go little by little. You should be able to capture some of the fluid coming out of there. Oh yeah. We're gonna have to clean all this up, okay? All this stuff here. Hot water usually makes it nice and clean for you. So I wanna get something that will capture the fluid to come out this way. I want to put a small little cardboard here and that's gonna do the magic trick for me remember so I got the bucket down below and just hold it there let me take off this bolt a bit more there you go I should have done that before to begin with anyways Give it a moment. Anytime you get this thermostat code, that's how things are. You have to replace pieces on these new vehicles because they do fail. The computers, too many electronics, and it picks up. One bolt is out, and uh, here comes the second one. I did order the thermostat, it should be here very soon. Usually, I don't start working on a vehicle until I get the pieces, and there it is. There's the thermostat. So, the new one's gonna come set just like that, and we will install that little guy together. But I'm gonna leave that there. There's a gasket here. Um, see this gasket? I stayed behind, so make sure you remove that. The new thermostat should come with the new gasket, just like that. So let's wait for the new thermostat. Before we go, let's just, it looks super clean, so we don't even have to clean much. And I'm gonna just let that sit there and let it just rinse itself down. Okay, so we got our thermostat here. Uh, let me show you guys the part number. Let's see if you can see that part number right there. And uh, there's no other numbers on this box, but it comes with the thermostat seal and everything is all set. And we're gonna drop this in. Let's just match up with the other one. Looks a lot different, but it is what it is. I mean, not a lot different, but uh, this is aftermarket stuff. If you want to go with the original, you can get the original. But let's put this in. All you want to do is you want to capture the bolts, capture the threads. Should be a simple, easy job. Make sure your housing is clean. Once I get that, I'm gonna go on the bottom one. Let me see if I can catch the one in the bottom. Got it. Yep. And then we can 
use our extension here to spin it all the way. So we're gonna hand tighten this. So if you wanna torque it, you can torque it, but I think hand tightening this should be fair enough. Just don't leave it loose. And after that, make sure you check for leaks. So go even, a little bit on the top, a little bit on the bottom. I have the car a little bit higher than myself because I got the bucket in the bottom. Okay, there we go. A little bit here. A little bit there. A little bit there. A little bit there. And bada bing, bada boom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove everything, take out the funnels and everything, and then we're gonna put the pipe on. Okay, so all that is done, and let's bring our light over here. So we can see better, that's way too much. Okay, we're gonna leave it up there. All right, we're gonna take this pipe. Let's put this pipe on, radiator pipe. And we're gonna take our clamp. We're gonna put the clamp on. Whoa, that clamp is out of its way. Let's see if we can work some magic here. This little guy. Okay, I want to put this clamp. Same position, so I'm gonna spin it around. I want to catch it in the same position because sometimes it will leak just because you have it a little bit off because it's already made its grip on that one particular spot. There you go. And what we're gonna do is I am gonna put antifreeze through the through the bucket here. Um, but we are gonna open this. You're gonna hear hissing. I'm gonna just stay quiet so you guys can listen. And let's just open. You don't even need to open it. You could open it later on. You will hear hissing. So let me start putting antifreeze into this. Okay, so as you can see, I have this thing up to here. And check this out. See the air? There you go, perfect. So there's still air in the system, so you, what you need to do is you need to run it and it, it will circulate and your antifreeze will go down. And uh, that's the only way. Okay, there you go. And then we'll throw some water on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put everything back together and we're gonna bleed a little by little. We're gonna let the car run for a good 10, 15 minutes with heat on. Okay, so I got the car running. Um, got the heat on. I'm gonna go take it for test drive, but I do wanna let it run here. Make sure you pay attention to the temperature. Okay, shouldn't go more than halfway. I'll put the heat on. 
and midway okay halfway um i mean like a fan speed only like on level two and uh i'm gonna pay attention to this vehicle and uh if you need to take out any more air all you need to do is turn this guy and just turn it you see how it's shooting out that's how it's supposed to be but anyways and then we're gonna clean up everything thank but you're not gonna see that part thank you for watching make sure you put this back in make sure you put this clamp on make sure you put this sensor on and that's about it see you guys on the next one